It is interesting to know that the ICE team have just launched their first project inside the ICE open network ecosystem. And this first project is known as the Sun Waves. Now, if you have registered for Sun Waves, this is how the page, uh, the, uh, the interface looks like. This project mining is just the same with the one of um, ICE when we mined the ICE token. Okay, it follows the same procedure, the same pattern. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can boost your earning rate in the Sunwave uh, mining. Now, as you can see, the interface, this is the current balance I have, and this is my mining rate. By this, what it means is that I am earning 20 uh, Sunwave, that is SW token per hour. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to boost the mining rate so that I'll be able to mine more of the Sunwave token per hour. Now, in order to do this, I'll come and click on this, uh, I'll click on the center button, which is this mining button here. Okay, when I tap on it, this is what is going to appear. Now, it says um, you can increase your earnings and unlock new features by upgrading your Sunwave uh, account. So, the next thing we'll be doing is we are going to click on the boost now button. Now, currently I, I am at this level, which is level three. Okay. Now, if, sorry, I am at level two. Okay. So if I want to boost to level three, I will have to pay 588 eyes. And once I do that, the SW tokens that I will be mining per hour will increase by 75%. And my session length will be 24 hours. The referral limit that will be given to me uh, will be 15. Okay. But in this video, I don't want to increase to level 3. Okay. Not even level 4. I intend to increase to level 5, which is uh, the highest and the least. Okay, now if I try to increase to level 4, what it will cost me is uh, 785 eyes. I will increase my mining by 100%. Then I will be able to mine a 48 hour session length. Then I will be given a 20 referral limit. Okay, so I will click on the level 5 uh, option, which is this very one. So what I'm going to spend here now is 981 with an increased percentage of 125, a session length of 48 hours. Now, the most interesting part of this uh, level 5 upgrade or boosting is it allows you to mine even when you are not online, you will not, your balance will not be slashed. Okay, what I mean is this. Let's say, for instance, after you must have upgraded to 48 hours and this 48 hours elapsed and you are not able to come online, the slashing, they will not do any slashing. They will not reduce your balance. Your balance will still remain there. Okay. For those who mind ICE token, you know, once you reach the mine section, once the mining time is exceeded and you didn't log in to activate, they will begin to slash the total amount that you have by a certain percentage. Okay, so that is the advantage of this, uh, of boosting up to level five. Your account, your balance will not be slashed. Then the next thing is I'll be given a 25 referral limit. So now the question is, how are we going to do this? How are we going to increase or boost uh, this mining rate? When I scroll up, you take a look at these. Now, these are several uh, centralized and decentralized exchanges where one can trade or buy ICE token. So by this, you should uh, have ICE token up to that amount which they requested for boosting to the various given levels in each of these, uh, these centralized exchanges. So for the purpose of this video, I'll be making use of the OKX because I have eyes in my OKX. Now, for newbies, those who may not know or maybe those who do not have eyes token, in my next video, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you how you can buy eyes in those uh, exchanges. Okay, so the next thing I will do now is I'll click on the continue button. Now, this will bring me to this page. Now, you read attentively. Here we have... 
uh, the time limit, a countdown time given to us here. Okay, of course, the our pen, our payment is pending. They expect that we make this payment within this given time. Okay, now it says here to complete your upgrade, please you send the exact amount of ice below using BNB Smart Chain, Ethereum, or Arbitrum Network. And this is the total amount that we are going to spend to boost to level 5. Okay, so um, what we are going to do now is I'm going to click on the show address button. When I click on the show address button, it says important notice. To confirm your upgrade, please ensure that you send the exact amount of uh, eyes. Now, if you are sending from an exchange, please you make sure you include withdrawal fee. Please, this is very, very important. Apart from the amount which you are required to send, you make sure that the balance that you will have in your wallet once you send the, um, the actual number that is given can stand to cover for the withdrawal charges or the withdrawal fee. So, I will click on, having uh, taken note of this, I will click on the confirm button. Now, I am going to send to this address. Okay, this is my the payment address. Now, the ICE team before now, they have said that this is one of the mechanisms, this is one of the ways they have brought out to burn the ICE token, to reduce the total supply of ICE. So I'm going to click on the copy address button right now. And once I do that, what it means is that I have copied the, uh, I've copied the address, the receiving address. So I'll go right now to uh, the OKX. Now, this is my OKX uh, dashboard. If you do not have the OKX, um, if you've not signed up for OKX centralized exchange, I'm going to drop the link in the description below. You click on the link, then you sign up. You can transfer your USDT there, then exchange it to ICE before you come to this. Like I said earlier, in the next video I'm going to be dropping, I'm going to show you how you can buy, um, how you can buy ICE from some of those uh, centralized exchanges. So we proceed. Now I'm going to click on the asset button this is the asset button then i'll click on withdraw that is this very one then um i'll give it some seconds to load now i'm going to click on withdraw crypto that is this first one then at the search bar okay even without searching here i have ice okay this is my ice token. I have about 30,000 pieces of ice. So I'm going to click on it because that is what I want to withdraw. So then the next thing is I will click on the on chain. Okay. Then um, at the first space that is at this particular side, I am going to uh, paste the wallet address. Then here I am going to select the network by clicking on this arrow. Remember, they said BNB, that is BSC, okay? If you see BNB, it also is also the same as BSC. Uh, now, the minimum I can send is 130, okay? Now, here, take note of this. The network fee is 30 eyes. So, what this means is that the 981 pieces of eyes, which they request me to send to the given address, I'm going to add 30 to it okay so i'm not going to send exactly that figure if i send exactly that figure it will not work okay now this is what i mean i'm going to add since the uh the withdrawal charges is 30 i'm going to add 30 to 981 before sending okay so let me go back to okx so i'll be sending exactly 1011 point five five nine seven okay now i just added 30 to this and it gave me 100 and sorry 1011 point five five nine seven okay now i am going to click on the submit button okay i'll click on the submit button then i will make sure that my email address is accessible and also the phone number with which i used for registration of my OKX account okay so um, after reading this prompt message this is just a warning message I'm going to click on here I understand in order to continue okay so um, 
okay it says confirm the network okay i think i'm having network problem okay now it's it's going it says security authentication here i'm going to click on uh the send button here to receive uh, the code in my email and also i'll click the, on this one i'll click on this one to receive uh, a code in my uh, phone number so i'll do that right now so these are the codes i have just gone to my email and my phone number that is my inbox and i have just copied the uh phone sorry the codes so i'll click on the confirm button right now so i just did that and it says my request has been completed i can click on here view details to see um, what i have transferred so it is still processing i will have to wait for some seconds for it to once it reaches and ticks this green that means it has been sent so i'll give it some seconds until it uh, goes successfully now the ice has been sent successfully now i want you to take a note uh, take note of this remember what we sent was 1011.5597 but here we have uh, 981.5597 this is exactly what the what was sent to the address after deduction of the uh, 30 eyes which was the gas fee okay so this is to tell you that if you do not add if in the course of your sending you did not add a transaction fee what the wallet address will receive will be lesser it will not be the same with what the sunwave uh, requested you to send okay and when this happens your um, your transaction will not be recognized. So if you do not want to lose your token, what you need to do is follow these steps just as I've explained in this uh, video. Now, let us go back to our Sunwave. So here, I'm going to click on, since I have sent, I'm going to click check this button, after which I'll click on the continue button. Now, it says here, um, for confirmation, you have to select the right network and paste your transaction hash below okay which um the, we've selected our network which was the bnb smart chain so here i'm going to click here and i will select the network to which i sent to i sent to bnb smart chain and that is what i'm going to select so here i'm going to paste the transaction hash so i will tell you i will show you how to get the transaction hash now if you made use of okx that is this particular app that i used what you need to do is you simply come here and click on this button view on blockchain explorer so once you click on this you wait for the page to load now this is the transaction hash this is it so if you want to copy it you come here just click on this button to copy it okay so if you do not want to come to uh, this page you can go back then click on the transaction id that is this button here what we have here is actually the transaction hash which is the same as uh, the transaction id this is exactly what they require but if the app you are making use of does does not have uh if it, it does not display transaction id on the just as you see it on this uh, screen you can go to the block explorer okay and uh paste the uh the address you sent to now this is what i'm trying to explain this is the wallet address which we sent to do not make mistake so i'm going to copy this now okay i'm going to copy it i'm trying to show you another way of getting this transaction id if the exchange you used is not the same with mine if the exchange you used does not show the transaction id on the page but i believe almost all exchanges will show you the transaction id id now as i've copied the wallet address which i sent to i will go to my chrome that is my browser then on the search bar i will type bscscan.com okay then i will search so here i am going to paste the wallet address that i sent to that is the one that i just copied so i'm going to click on the enter button or this uh, search button okay now i will scroll up i will scroll up then coming to this side i'm going to click on tokens transfer bep20 as you can see it bep20 is the same as bsc and it's the same as b and b they are all on the same blockchain okay so when i click on it i will scroll up and here is the transaction hash which is the same as the transaction id the one i showed you earlier so i can just click on this copy button to copy it or 
if i go to my okx i will just click on this transaction id here they are all the same i'm taking my time to explain this so that you'll be sure of what you are doing and for you not to make mistakes since we have copied it we'll go to the sun waves right now even though uh, they have closed the page we'll still proceed so i'll click on the button again boost now okay i have done everything i will continue okay i'll click on uh okay it has changed but i can click on continue all right bnb smart chain then on the hash section i'm going to uh paste the transaction hash then i will continue it says successfully confirmed your account has been successfully upgraded you can now start inviting more friends and increase your earning rate so i have been upgraded to level five so i'll just click on the done button all right so once i click on the done button i will uh you take notes you check here before when we started this video it was 20 uh sw token now it has been increased up to 45 okay so when i click on the boost option now that is on the uh, mining button which is this very one you discover that i my earning rate has increased just as like I, just like i said before the boost status is level five and the team limit is 25 referrals and the bonus was increased by 125 percent so guys if this um is confusing if you have any question all these processes that i've shown you if you have any question please you do well to drop your question at the comment section below i'm also going to drop my whatsapp group link in the description so that if you have any problem at all you can private chat me so that i will put you through so thank you guys if this is your first time of visiting my youtube channel do well to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel to get daily updates give a thumbs up to this video feel free to share this video to your community members feel free to share it to those who may likely be in need of this video so guys i hope to see you in my next video